Hey guys, I just want to do a quick one minute video to follow up on our last video on these stabilizers on the uh, 10SS. One thing I did not mention, um, you can see here the plate. You, now you can see it because I don't have straps on here. You can see the plate. Here's our rod holder. Okay, here's your assemblies. Okay, this is all coming apart right now. Um, I forgot to mention this screw. You need to put this screw in an, an angle, the same angle as this bar, through your rod holder, through that piece of uh, one and a quarter PVC. What that does, it stops this from sliding up and down because this will have a tendency to slide up and down about an inch or so just from flotation, okay? One other thing it does, if you'll notice, let's see if I can get around here, uh, I don't know. You'll see the distance from the rod holder on this one is different than that distance there. Okay, this one's a little bit higher up. That's because these molded boats are not um, necessarily the same side to side. They have little differences. So when you're finally adjusting your, your whole assemblies, um, some of these kayaks are just going to be a little lower on one side or a little higher on one side or twisted kind of funny. So that's just an, another adjustment you can make. And then when you get everything where you want it, just run that screw in. I would suggest instead of putting the screw this close to this lip, you step back about a quarter inch and then drill it in um, just so you have more material to bite on. But I didn't have any, this is a prototype, but I didn't have any problems with this. But uh, I, that's one suggestion I'd make. All right, guys, that's it. We're in the middle of chopping this thing up now, disassembling it. By the end of the day, she'll be gone. See y'all.